Hello loves and welcome back to my channel if you are new, welcome. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a little bit of color blocking. This is the easiest color blocking design you will ever come across. They can get really intricate and so I kind of wanted to start off with just a basic set to help all of those nail tech beginners in their journey. That being said, I'm also going to be announcing the winners to my last video's giveaway. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, please make sure to turn on your post notifications and subscribe to my channel so you do not miss out on any future giveaways as I do insert them randomly into my videos. Now for today's giveaway, it is being sponsored by Not Polish. You guys are very well aware at this point that I absolutely love all of their products. Make sure to check out their stuff. I link them all below in my description box. Don't forget to use my discount code to save a little bit of money. So I did want to talk a little bit about the product that I'm going to be gifting to you guys. So they offer trio sets on their website. If you have not seen these, this stuff is amazing. So basically, you get a nail polish. This is regular nail polish, a gel polish, and an acrylic powder that is matching perfectly. So you don't have to worry about if your client comes in, she gets her nails done with acrylic, and she wants matching toes in a nail polish. Boom. It is the perfect match. I am really excited to share this with you guys because I know a lot of you guys are not very well aware of it. And if you guys are trying to build up your guys' inventory, this is an easy, easy way to do so. That being said, our first winner is going to be taking the color M28, and this is a red fox. It is a really, really pretty red with a beautiful sparkle to it. Of course, the acrylic gel polish and nail polish. And I'm also going to be throwing in there a glosset. So if you haven't tried out not polished glosset, highly recommend it. Our first winner is Angel Sky and the Crazy Five. Thank you so much for entering. Message me, girl, and I will send that out immediately to you. So for our second winner, she is going to be taking the color M70. This is ex-boyfriend. A really, really pretty royal blue with a matching gel polish, nail polish, and a glosset top coat. So our second winner is Kylie Cortez. Message me, girl, and I'll send that out immediately to you. Now, let's get right into the video. So getting right into it, my worst fear has happened and I did not press record when I thought I was recording. So we're getting right into this pretty, pretty pink. This is M98. I will link all the names and products in the description box. So make sure to check them out if you are interested in any of the products used in this video. I am using the Summer Collection from Not Polish. It is the Tropic Like It's Hot. This is their newest collection and it is absolutely beautiful. So I am just going in with that pink colored acrylic. And then I'm going in with this really pretty neon glitter. This is their Summer Beach Treats glitter collection. Check them out, they're really pretty neon colors. So for the ring finger, I'm making sure that I'm placing the nude down towards the tip and I am going to pre kind of cut it out with my brush only because I'm a true believer in saving product and I don't want to waste too much. There's a lot of people that place the acrylic all the way down to the tip and to me personally you're wasting a ton of product. Like I said I'm cheap and I want to waste a minimal amount of acrylic powder. So by the time I get done with my cuticle area the Acrylic at the tip will be dry enough for me to carve it out. You do want it to be fairly dry, but not all the way dry. So I'm taking my X-Acto knife and just drawing a line with that knife and then just lightly pushing it to the side, carving it out, and you get such a straight line. I used my brush for the longest time because I was scared of the X-Acto knife. Take my advice and just start off doing your designs with an X-Acto knife. It will make your life so much easier. Now I'm taking this really pretty orange. It is M99 from Not Polish. And then I'm going to be using the orange glitter from Profiles Backstage. I'm placing that onto the nail as well. 
I'm kind of just spacing the little glitter chunks out to make it look as pretty as possible. Obviously, I want the smaller chunks towards the top and then the bigger chunks, I'm trying to place them more towards the tip as we do have more space on that orange towards the tip. And again, I'm going to be repeating that onto my middle finger. I am placing the nude onto the middle section, lightly dragging it down. I'm not trying to be a perfectionist. I'm just trying to save some product. So once the acrylic starts mattifying just a little bit, that is your go-to clue to when it's ready to cut out. You don't want to wait too long or you won't be able to carve out that acrylic. So for the nude that I'm using in this set, I am using Soft Peach from Not Polish. It is really, really pretty and I do highly recommend it. Again, I'm taking my X-Acto knife and just making sure that I am removing any excess acrylic. Making sure that the line is extremely straight as we want it to look as perfect as possible. And I'm just scraping away any excess nude left behind on the nail. I'm not trying to be a perfectionist about it because... I'm using a color that is opaque enough to cover any nude that may be left behind. Now I'm taking this freaking amazing yellow. I am absolutely obsessed with this color. It's perfect for the summer. This is M104 from Not Polish. Again from the summer collection, Tropic Like It's Hot. Make sure to check out those colors. They are absolutely gorgeous. And I'm taking the matching yellow glitter from Profiles Backstage. And placing that again along that line where it meets the nude. I'm trying to spread it out as much as possible. I'm taking my brush and just moving them around until I am content filling in any spaces with the smaller chunks if I need to. And you guys already know I'm using my Sculpted Like It's Hot in the number 6 for the brush along with the monomer from Profiles Backstage. And I am repeating that process with the nude color on the nail, blending it out towards the tip of the nail, but trying to only cover the part that I need covered. So for this nail, this is a perfect example of how I am not perfect. I did place the acrylic on there and then I realized that I didn't add enough. So. It is really easy to fix your guys' mistakes. Don't think that you have to do it perfectly the first try. So as you can see, when I'm eyeballing where I'm placing the blade, I notice that there is a gap right there. I'm just going to continue to scrape away the product that I need to be taken off of that nail and then deal with it afterwards. Now that I'm done, I'm going in just with a little bit more of that nude color and then just filling it in like nothing happened. It's totally fine. You can also do it after you add the color. I just thought it would be easier to clean up if I did it before. Now I'm taking this amazing green. Funny thing, I used to mix this color for one of my clients all the time. And now I don't have to mix it. It is already pre-mixed for me. This is M100 from Not Polish. I am placing that again over that clear area and then adding the matching green from Profiles Backstage onto that middle section, blending it out once again with the tip of my brush very, very gently as I don't want to place it over any of the nude. There are a lot of people that are okay with that as when they file, they could just remove the excess. However, 
I just have not been able to do that. I feel like the nail ends up really bulky. I have to do way too much filing. So I'd rather get it done in the beginning versus have to fix it at the end. Now I'm placing my nude again on the thumb, trying to work in sections, making sure that the tip is nice and dry by the time I go to cut it. Once again, taking my X-Acto knife, I'm going to be carving that out. So basically where I eyeballed it is the tip of the X-Acto knife is right under where the skin is of her finger. So then all I do is just slant it down towards the other side of the nail and you get the perfect slant on all of the nails. They are all the same size. For this nail, I am using this really pretty blue. It is in the color 103. I love this blue. And then I'm taking the matching glitter from Profiles. This is slightly lighter, but I still loved the combination of it and it still looked really good together. One thing to know is that the glitter is loose glitter. It does not have acrylic mixed into it. So you do absolutely have to encapsulate and make sure you are placing it onto a wet surface and then adding clear over top to ensure that it doesn't go anywhere. And y'all already know the drill. I am going in with my clear acrylic from Not Polish and encapsulating all of those nails. So for this one, because I did do the cuticle area just slightly too thin, I'm adding just a little bit of clear over some of the nails. But we do want to make sure we are for sure encapsulating the tip because if you go into file glitter, it will dull it, the color will be filed away, and it will not look cute. So make sure you are adding a really good amount of clear over top of your glitter to ensure that it's not removed when you go in and file. I'm going to be repeating this on the rest of the nails. Moving on to our filing, I am using my e-file at about 8,000 to 9,000 RPMs. I'm using a fine carbide bit. I am lightly removing any imperfections, making sure that the surface of the nail is nice and smooth. 
Now, if you do need to remove a little bit more product, I do recommend you guys go in with a medium carbide bit because it will remove just a little bit more product. But because all I'm doing is smoothing it out, this one works perfectly fine. Now I'm going in with my Tammy Taylor peel and stick file and filing the sides of the nails, making sure that the shape is coming together and it is nice and straight. Now I'm going in and filing the tip of the nail. I like to turn my practice hand around so I can mimic the view from the client's perspective and file it that way, making sure that it is nice and straight, especially from the client's view. Now I'm going in with my sponge buffer from Profiles Backstage and I'm going to be buffing the surface of the nail, making sure it is nice and smooth in preparation for our top coat. went ahead and cleansed the surface of the nail and my practice hand off camera using a lint free wipe and some swipe from Young Nails. Now I'm just going in and top coating these nails. I opted for a shiny top coat as I am using glitter in this set. Although glitter matte looks really, really pretty as well. Of course, I'm using Gloss It from Not Polish and I'm going to be curing that in the light for a full 60 seconds. I like to be a little bit extra and leave it in there for at least two minutes. That basically concludes this video. Do not forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think down below. Make sure to turn on your post notifications and subscribe to my channel so you guys do not miss out on future giveaways and amazing videos. Thank you guys so much and I will catch you guys next time.